I'm standing here at 15th and Lonsdale, and just down the street on 15th, Polygon Development plans to build a 22-story tower that will be the centerpiece of this growing and ambitious high-rise cluster here at Central Lonsdale. Hi, I'm Jeremy Cato, and welcome to the North Shore. Thanks for watching, and if you're looking for more news and commentary, please subscribe. In urban planner lingo, this tower's floor space density is more than twice allowed under current zoning. The city has enabled construction here by basically selling Polygon more than $24 million worth of density. Polygon's $25 million to the city breaks down like this. 19 million plus in density from Harry Jerome, $300,000 on public art, $100,000 for new traffic signals, and about a million and a half dollars in in-kind development for Lonsdale Energy Corporation. The tower itself will have 136 residences on 20 floors. The bottom two floors will be commercial space. There will be 158 resident parking spaces, nearly twice the number recommended for new construction in the city. And all the spaces will be wired for EVs. Another 40 odd public and business parking spaces are planned. City planners envision a central Lonsdale stuffed with high rise towers, with medium density apartments and townhomes acting as a buffer between the dense Lonsdale cluster and single family dwellings on the outside. What's missing is any transit improvement for this high rise cluster. There are no plans to add light rail or even ground level trolley cars like we had on Lonsdale decades ago. The bus service will remain, and you can scooter, walk, or bicycle all you like. The city is allowing Polygon to about double the number of parking spaces under current guidelines. And this also goes against the city's new mobility strategy, which calls for a dramatic reduction in parking spaces in new construction. Thanks for watching. I'm Jeremy Cato, and this is the North Shore. Please subscribe for more news and commentary.